Marilyn Hauschow of Empowered Hearts Ministry, ministering revival and reformation to the family for 30 years. Hello, hello, dear hearts. Marilyn here. I'm coming to talk with you again about Baal worship. Now, last time I I um, talked about the parents' surrender to Baal and the family's land left unguarded. And now I'd like to talk to you about repenting of Baal worship in the church. I know that these are heavy messages I've been bringing to you. But we are living in heavy times, wouldn't you say? And it's time to get a little more serious about what God may be speaking to us, uh, his people. You know, it's always been Satan's strategy, and we know this, to prevent godly seed from going forth into the world. And it's all about getting the children, either forcibly or by the parents' willing cooperation in surrendering them. The spirit of Baal is still alive and well in our land, and it is in the church as well. The spirit of Baal leads us to sacrifice all the wrong things for the sake of our own convenience and even pseudo-prosperity. So what are we sacrificing? Well, we're sacrificing our children. We're, we're allowing them to be used as guinea pigs in a grand experiment of mandates in the school system. We, along with our children, are sacrificing our freedoms to take the jab. Serving the spirit of Baal will always result in oppression because the enemy's intent is always to steal, kill, and to destroy. And so along with this abortion of our children's spiritual development in surrendering them to the government school system, we are um, experiencing the oppression of our children, and oppression always comes with a spirit of abortion. So being forced to take the jab or whatever else that they decide to enforce will put us in an oppressive state. And we must rise up as a church and bring justice because serving the spirit of Baal is more far reaching than this. And the church is participating in this idolatry of Baal worship. High profile church leaders who are talking about Baal have limited their understanding of modern Baal worship to abortion or to child trafficking or to those who openly worship Satan. Now, I've even heard some say that we need to repent of our own Baals, but without actually explaining what that means. 